I remember you talking to me about this uh, before you started it, and of course it's the City of Waterfalls initiative, mm -hmm. and I recall, when, when was that started? It's got to be, what, six or seven years ago now? Yeah, about that. Yeah. And I remember the first time you mentioned it to me, uh, you, you framed it in this way for me, that it was going to be a program, a project that was going to be so big that people would be afraid of uh, even entertaining it because mm -hmm. you set out really to rebrand Hamilton's image. And when I heard you, and of course we are friends, uh, full disclosure, uh, always respect your entrepreneurial spirit, but I gotta tell you, when I sat back and I thought, all right, I think Chris is chewing off a little more than he can chew with this particular initiative. Rebranding Hamilton, uh, the, the city with great history, a city with labor roots, steel roots, sports roots, and here comes this guy who wants to rebrand it into what? And out of that was born the Waterfall Initiative. How did you come up with that idea, and what led you to believe that we could rebrand the city in this way? It all started at a political fundraiser, and uh, sorry, not a, not a liberal one, <laughs> but uh, a gentleman in uh, Dundas, Joe Hollick, had this poster up called Waterfalls of Hamilton. Great so, poster, I remember having one in my office. Absolutely, and I'm there, and David Sweet bought one, and he was it was an auction thing. So I, I'm looking at this, and I'm going, where are all these waterfalls? And born and raised in Hamilton, I didn't know about this. So right there I said, why aren't we doing anything about this? And the more I looked into it, nobody was doing anything about it. And a couple little initiatives that were done failed. So it was one of those things right there I go, wow. And I got on with Bill Kelly, and, and Bill, you know, we joke about this last week. He had me on for an hour. I heard you. Yeah, and, and Bill even, you know, he said, he, he said, well, how can this fail? It can't. Who hates a waterfall? Nobody. I, and I mean, it's not that I'm a lover of waterfalls. It's I'm a lover of my city. I'm born and raised here. And, you know, I remember Ron Foxcroft, I, I, I sent this message to, to Ron, and it was a very famous thing that came back. What's the biggest problem of this city? So he sent one, one word three times bold. Image, image, image. Image is our biggest problem. We're very, very proud of everything. You know, when I'm up in my old private suite at Iverwin, overlooking, you know, everything, all the steel factories, I, I love that. I'm proud of that. You know what? My dad was there. My brothers were there. I was there. You know, I say I'm born in Hamilton, but I was raised down in the factories, right? So that did a lot to me. It gave me a, a lot of my entrepreneurial spirit. I am, I am so fiercely proud of that. Of, of our industrial base and, and it made who we are as, as a city. But the City Waterfalls Initiative, absolutely. To your question, it was way too big for people to understand. It was way too big chomping off more, but again, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's something that I went from A to Z in light speed. You know, who hates the waterfall? It's all here looking right, right at us. So I got it going. Um, you know, it's something that was not supported. Uh, City Hall did not support it. Tourism Hamilton did not support it. As a matter of fact, politically, we will probably speak, and it will come up, why the program was tried to be killed. Why was the City of Waterfall Initiative tried to be stopped? But, you know, it's, uh, it made a lot of uh, people stand up, even within City Hall, to say, Chris, this person is trying to do this and this and this. Well, that just, you know, you know, fire. you on. Well, it's the same thing. Yeah, you the know. problem is we're running out of time. We've got about three minutes left, and there's so much territory to cover because there are some great stories. And I don't think people were being mean spirited um, about uh, the, the, the project and the program. I just agree with you that I don't think they understood the enormity of it and the fact that you could really run with it. And so in the early days, uh, the city was a little uh, skittish about embracing what they maybe perceived to be a uh, a program that, that wouldn't go anywhere. But you made it go somewhere. We do have lots of waterfalls. They're not of the Niagara Falls caliber, but they are interesting waterfalls, and some of them are very impressive. But you've taken it to a different level uh, because you also now illuminate these waterfalls in the summertime and the wintertime mm -hmm. on, a, on a regular basis. What do you mean by illuminate? What do you do? Very quickly. We have 2.6 billion can of power of lights, so over 70 lights, they're battery powered. We have volunteers that bring it in. But, but I do have to say this though, this isn't me that's doing the City Waterfalls Initiative. All I did was simply push it. 
It's the 500,000 Hamiltonians that love our waterfalls and all the visitors that come in constantly. But, but to that point though, is, is the, the one thing that we never did right in this city and continually don't do right is, and this has to change, Larry, is that when citizens step up and want to do something in the city, so all the political leaders that are watching this right now, take these people and embrace them and say, you know what, I don't care how small of an idea this is, if this is going to benefit our city, let's do it. The waterfall initiative was something different simply because, you know what, who hates the waterfall? But that's past now, so I, I don't want the viewers to get the wrong idea. The waterfall initiative now is way too big. You set it off air. This is way beyond me. I have no mm -hmm. control of this anymore. It's, yes, Everybody's it, talking about it constantly, right. and, and I constantly say to everybody, I go, you know what, our, we're over two million page views on our website. People are coming constantly to love our waterfalls. We just have to say, what are we going to do with the projects next? We need viewing platforms. We need past. The illuminations, people love these illuminations. You know what? We'll constantly keep doing them, so the thing gets bigger and bigger every day. And you know, the amazing thing is that, that uh, yes, there's lots of candle power, but it takes money uh, to make that happen. And uh, do you do some fundraising, or do you just try to...